Luther said, I didn't know why y'all didn't tell me. Why ain't nobody had done told Pimpin that these babies out here getting injections to get like a bigger booty? I ain't know. I ain't know. I know, I know, I know. They been out here trying to buy ass and all that. No, 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 no. This one different. I ain't know they was doing this. In Congo, a woman with a huge butt is seen as more attractive and beautiful, and this perception has led many women in the country to feel the need to fit into the standard expectation of beauty. The more disturbing factor when it comes to Congo is that women are not able to afford proper butt augmentation and have resorted to using chicken stock injection as an alternative. The pro Why y'all ain't tell me that y'all using chicken broth and shit, the chicken stock? Like, after you don't boil the chicken, you take the meat out and that juice that's left in there, that's the stock or the broth. And, 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 and. Talk about eating ass. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not a bag about it. Go ahead. Procedure which seems to work for many is twice more dangerous than the proper procedure has been said to be. I'm sure you're wondering how they do it. So what they do is the chicken stock is crushed and liquefied into a thick paste which is then poured into a syringe. The woman successfully get the mixture into their body by anal injection. It is believed that the stalk causes the tissues in the lower body to swell up and provide a thick bubble to look better. Yeah, so they do that and I was even wondering at first like how do they do it and then I had to Google myself to see how it's done so they put it, put it liquefy, liquefy the chicken stock and put it in a syringe and then they, it is injected. Anally. And um, it, it is said that it, after it gets in there, bubbles up, and that's how they get a bigger butt. Oh my God. This is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. And stats show that uh, it is way more dangerous than uh, the normal augmentation that you see that uh, people go through um, when it comes to plastic surgery. So this one is double the risk. And on top of that, they do it in their homes. So, you know, if anything goes wrong, there's no emergency care. Um, they're more likely to lose their lives or, you know, be disabled. And this in Congo. In Congo, I w listen. <laughs> you say no, they using top Roman or or bullion Q. <laughs> and y'all get mad at um 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 financial advisors that start with a P. Y'all get mad at financial advisors. Listen, <laughs> you get a bitch put chicken stock in there. They doing it on their own, they follow their own understanding. He said, I saw this video about a month ago. I, I didn't even know. He said, a voice that won't be stopped. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Say, handle your business, pastor. I'm trying to right now. He said, he said about to stop eating chicken. Y'all crazy, but listen, look, 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 look. It is believed that if they put the chicken stock inside, they butt, that it'll grow the butt. I ain't a whole bunch of been eating chicken stock a long goddamn time. Like, if you're over like that and fought and shit, you got a whole bunch of body of, <laughs> of chicken stock. Yeah, chicken noodle soup and all that shit. You done suck the marrow all out the chicken and shit. We came up eating chicken stock. So that means we should all have fat air, right? Got to be, but I can't take you so fucking serious. And they believe it. They believe it. Listen. For many, it's twice more dangerous than the proper procedure has been said to be. I'm sure you're wondering how they do it. So what they do is the chicken stock is crushed and. And then she tasting it. You say it's tasty, bitch. We taste so go put in your ass, and then you're gonna want to eat my ass too once my ass get big. I ain't. Say high blood pressure booty having ass. <laughs> Liquefied into a thick paste, which is then poured into a syringe. The woman successfully get the mixture into their body by anal injection. Oh, she say by anal inject. Man, y'all hit the like button, man. I, I didn't hit that. Hold on, you bullshit. Listen.
successfully get the mixture into their body by anal injection. That bit, that baby did say anal injection. Oh, I thought they was injecting into like they no booty having ass or they little small booty. I thought that that's what they were doing. She said it's anally injected. Won't that break you out of something? <laughs> Just say, say, wait, a chicken stock enema? Yeah, enema. What is y'all doing? I thought. I didn't. Wait a minute. Do you warm it up? And don't, if you put it in your butt, eventually it'll come out your butt. Is it when you put it in your butt, it like attach on to the cells and the tissues and shit like that right there and multiply and all? No. Say high sodium content. <laughs> Say their veins going to shrivel up the fuck. I'm trying to. I didn't. <laughs> it's going to tell me these bitches don't need no guidance. All right, then. Boo young Q man. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Hey, li listen, babies. I'm 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 here for you. I'm trying to help you not lose your life and smell like seasoned chicken. I got them it. it smell like a tuck fried chicken over here. This shit ain't right. If you're gonna use the chicken broth, what about the turkey broth? Or beef broth. Cows is bigger than chickens. 